What's up my Pungyos, Andy with All Games Played, sharing with you guys one and final, maybe not the last, but probably the fat last, the fast, the last and final video I'm going to be doing on Pokemon Quest. I've put like a whole dozen videos out, and I might as well move on. I do want to do some legendary shiny hunting, because I think you can, but as the title suggests guys, these are the best and top five tips for late game play of Pokemon Quest. Very, very similar to the shiny top five shiny hunting tips that I did. Uh, but this is going to be a little bit more, you know, gearing towards end game play and, and working towards that. So, the first and foremost thing that you should be doing is buying the DLC. I, I usually don't advocate for this, but it's really, it's really important or, or else the late game portion of this will be not fun and it's going to take you forever. Uh, right here, you'll receive PM tickets uh, every day, and if you buy the DLC content, which is right here, you'll get like three times the amount. You'll get 190 tickets instead of the 50 that you get. And uh, jumping right into it, the first thing that you'll want to jump and get is decorations. Um, what I need, what I really want to get is the Pikachu surfboard because it gives me a chance to multiply the amount of Pokemon that you're cooking, ultimately giving you more Pokemon with which you can train, that you can level up, and that you can use towards the end game. And that's kind of the important thing that I'm, I'm needing to do right now. Right now I've gotten to the point where I've got some pretty good Pokemon at level 60 or so, but I don't have what it takes to get to late game, and so I've been grinding and grinding and grinding. With that being said, um, moving on, what I'd recommend you do is focus on your bingo bonus. So what that means is, in order to get some late gameplay for your Pokemon, you're gonna need to you're gonna need to uh, evaluate, you know, what the best Pokemon are based on their stats and based on their bingo bonus. So, uh, as I've made a video, and you can see in the card above up here, uh, your Pokemon obviously are impacted by your bingo board. This is a bingo board, uh, and you can see that I have all three bingo bonuses enabled, and that corresponds with the bingo tiles here. I've got one down and then two rows. Uh, also these impacted, but let me show you what that means. The bingo bonus right here are multipliers basically. They're, they're hidden abilities that, you know, b boost your Pokemon the further you get into the game. So this golem is a, is a keeper. I've got some pretty good stuff. I don't get knocked back. I've got plus to my critical damage and uh, my attack, my normal attack move percentage is up. So th that's the second thing you want to focus on. You want to focus on the bingo bonuses and how you're multiplying your HP and attack based on your mighty stones and your sturdy stones. Um, another thing that you want to focus on is getting good abilities. Uh, for my golem, Harden is, is really, really good. It's really nice. I reduce the amount of uh, you know physical attacks that I, I take, damage. But I need to find a better attack. This rollout isn't that good. The animation is garbage, but it, it, it's strong. It's just, it's no good. And so I'm going to work towards that by training and using Pokemon I can. Uh, now, moving on, the thir third thing that I recommend doing, which will ultimately build and boost your Pokemon for late game, is knowing your recipes. Knowing your recipes is so important. I'm going to throw a picture up on screen that I got from a user called like Skybard. I think he's on this, I think that's his name. Um, he's on a subreddit and he put together this comprehensive uh, recipe list for all of the major types. He didn't put the color types because it's obvious. You, you just have to put the color, you know, yellow, red, blue, etc. But he also added a modifier here, the... the he added the special rarity modifier, um, which means the more rare of the ingredient that you use, the higher the chance you're going to get a better Pokemon. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them specifically to let you know the differences between the special Pokemon encounters and the regular Pokemon encounters, but this is something really good. If you want to screen cap your screen, go ahead by all means. You can crop it and uh, have this on your phone while you're playing the game because it's it's really important. I use it all the time, um, especially that normal, that very first recipe, that normal recipe, the honey and then the uh, the, the bulk mushroom. Those are really important. Um, the further you get in the game, obviously, the, the different type of pots you can use. 
I focus on this as you can see I, I've been trying to focus up on my ingredients I ended up spending a lot of these recently uh, and utilizing that the most is best for you now you're gonna probably ask what is this and how you get this this is the special shell it's a legendary ingredient you get that late game on the last island the last level I think it's level 13-1 or once you go through the whole game you can start getting legendary ingredient um, let's go ahead now and talk about getting ingredients so there's one way to get it you got to play the game you got to go on expeditions and you'll notice generally each area is designated by a color you can kind of get the grasp of what type it's gonna feature so obviously right here in this area this is the uh, pincushion plane it's gonna heavily be influenced by harder ingredients and more yellow ingredients so you're gonna get a lot of your honeys and your uh, apricorns if you go right here in uh, the belly button cave <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna also be more hard because it's cave it's rocks and it's also gonna be more gray Pokemon and you ask you also get blue Pokemon ingredients if you come back over here uh, the first step these are gonna be more basic ingredients so not your rare more rare ingredients but it's gonna be your reds it's gonna be your blues your yellows same with here um, what I'd highly recommend as a, as a tip is play the bosses you'll want to play back the boss levels because that's the greatest um, chance to get more ingredients speaking of, of chances of getting more ingredients uh, I'm gonna go back into the decorations there are certain decorations that inc increase or multiply your chance to get more of that color so for instance uh, the Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon, these are very important. I highly recommend you get these early game because they're going to give you a 1.5 modifier of the type of colors. And this Dodrio is for gray. So let me go into the decorations and show you that specifically. Uh, the Dodrio drops 1.5 gray, Jolteon 1.5 yellow. Uh, Etc. And then you can obviously get the Charizard, the Blastoise, and the Plant and the Venusaur. These give you times two for the ingredients drop, but those are more late game. Those will take a couple of days of uh, of these PM tickets um, in order for you to to get that. I highly recommend getting those. Uh, speaking of PM tickets, um, uh, here is a tip and trick for those of you shiny hunters out there. If you're not a shiny hunter, you can skip this. But uh, I was watching the Supreme Arcanines. He's a shiny hunter that I watch on YouTube. He recommended you using this little cheat. Well, it's not a cheat. It's a little trick. It's called the give up trick. So once you've filled your pots, um, you can go on an expedition. I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to save you the time of, of going on and getting the pots. You jump into your expedition, and you can actually give up. And you're probably asking, why would you give up? You're not, you're not, you're not going to be able to get any ingredients. But that's not the idea. Uh, shiny hunting, you want to maximize the amount of time that Pokemon are encountered. So as you notice, one of the battery energies went down. But, oh, you're not going to be able to notice the impact. Well, I apologize. Take my word for it, please. Take my word for it that uh, one of your pot's energies will be reduced by obviously one. You'll notice there's two there for that pot. Go into the expedition. Give up. Yes. All right, now let's go to the pot and show you what ultimately happened. There it is, it's reduced by one. So this, this will increase your ability to encounter Pokemon, which is what you really wanna do when you wanna shiny hunt. Um, and there you go, now there you have it. That's another way for you to do that. Uh, I think, I think that's it. I don't think that's, I, I think there's, yeah. I mean, I can give you some tips here uh, on how to evolve your Pokemon. I mean, you just go to training, um, you go into edit your team, you go into training, and two tips that I recommend doing is keeping uh, types. So you don't want to get rid of a lot of your Pokemon. Um, you want to keep their type, and then you want to keep the duplicates. So for instance, if you go to Ninetales, Ninetales is level 60, if, if you use Vulpix, which is in its Evolve tree, you'll see, despite it being level 27, you got about a half of a level. If you grab a Voltorb, which 
I don't want to grab that because it's a shiny. Ah, all of these are shinies. We'll grab a Lapras. 18 Lapras only goes up incrementally because A, it's not the same Pokemon, and B, it's not the same type. So you, you get that modifier as well. If you go to this Ponytail, which is the same type, not the same species, it's going to go up half of that. So you can tell that there is a multiplier when it comes to training. Those, that's what I highly recommend is you use the same type, same color, uh, same type, same species, etc. All right. Well, that's it. That's how you do it. Um, that Those are my best tips and tricks. Take them as a grain of salt. And hopefully you guys can get to the very end where you can start getting some more of those legendary um, in ingredients. I haven't quite gotten to that point because I'm kind of stuck. I ended up I ended up uh, training away some of my most strongest Pokemon f for leveling up my Shinies. Uh, and uh, it's kind of killed me because I can't get past 13,000 and all the bosses here are above that. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Andy. This is All Games Played. I love playing Pokemon games. I love shiny hunting. And I hope these tips and tricks helped you to get towards that late game and to, to hunt those legendary Pokemon. Have a good night. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite. See you.